The balancing mechanism is the system we use to instruct generation both up and down to meet real-time demand needs. Now we also use it to position generation for it to be able to provide ancillary services, frequency response services and various other services that we procure. So as most people are aware, the energy environment and energy industry is changing. We're moving from a world to a, of a large number of transmission connected large scale generation to a world of a much greater number of distributed energy sources. Now, in that changing environment, National Grid as system operator needs to be able to procure more of its ancillary services from these new entrants, these new players and new technologies. So the power system manager is a shift role within the electricity national control centre and essentially the, the power system manager overviews the teams working within the control room to ensure that we can pull together all the disparate threads of, of power system operation and ensure we can meet all the standards that we need to meet across the operational day. We construct ourselves with three teams. Uh, we have a strategy team, and they are the team who look furthest ahead within the control room. Uh, we've got to remember within National Grid, we do plan years ahead, but within the control room, uh, we go up towards 24 hours ahead. The second element of the strategy team is a sort of transmission analysis. We do offline studies of the transmission system in order to ensure that we can maintain the security uh, of the transmission system at all those future peaks and troughs. So that's the first team. There are two further teams within the control room, both of whom look shorter timescales. The transmission team are the team who look really sort of out towards four hours ahead, and they're responsible for all the electrical management of the transmission system. So they view the transmission system in terms of power flows and voltage management, voltage profiles, fault levels, and all those electrical aspects of, of operating an integrated transmission system. And the final team then is the energy balancing team. They're the team who work out towards four hours ahead, pick up the plans from strategy teams and then do the final uh, actions that are required to ensure we can manage system frequency and do the balancing of, uh, of uh, demand generation in real time to achieve frequency control.